Good evening. We are learning more about what exactly the Prime Minister knew about foreign interference and the advice given to him. Justin Trudeau's inner circle testified at the public inquiry today. The gatekeepers during two previous elections did not recommend any action to counter Chinese meddling. CTV's Judy Trin reports. Members of the Prime Minister's inner circle put on the hot seat. They were briefed by intelligence officials about Chinese meddling in the past two elections, but pushed back on the information. I believe it's our responsibility in seeing it to ask as many questions as we can about it, um, at times challenge it. The inquiry heard in September 2019, Justin Trudeau's top advisors were shown intelligence that China was interfering in the riding of Don Valley North. The Liberals' national campaign manager testified he briefed the Prime Minister but didn't recommend any action. And based on what I thought was should be an extremely high bar for overturning a democratic um, result, I had recommended to the Prime Minister that no action be taken. To all my colleagues in the Parliament. The inquiry also heard that after intelligence leaks suggested that Dong told a consulate official to delay the release of the two Michaels, Trudeau's team wanted to release other information to help clear the MP's name, but couldn't. The conclusion was no, this, it's, it cannot be made public. So we couldn't actually, um, in a clear way, defend and defend Handong against this allegation, which was wrong. Between June 2018 and December 2022, there have been 34 CSIS briefings revealing China clandestinely and deceptively interfered in both the 2019 and 2021 elections, and that cabinet, senior government and top election officials were briefed. Critics say it's mind-boggling that the government put in place special mechanisms which found threats, but didn't issue warnings. You didn't see any proof that the uh, disinformation was coming from uh, China. Well, does he expect to see fingerprints? The Prime Minister will testify tomorrow afternoon. He'll be asked questions about what he knew about Chinese interference and when. But more importantly, what he's done since then to protect Canada's democratic institutions. Heather. Judy, thanks.